Hello, my name is Dr. Gerald Chodak. I want to report to you the results that occurred this past summer when the FDA approved the combination of two drugs together for the treatment of men who have significant urinary symptoms and a large prostate. This study, or this finding, was based on something called the COMBAT study. The COMBAT study looked at two drugs, dutasteride and tamzulosin, both that are approved for the treatment of men with urinary complaints, to see whether either of them alone or together in combination would have differing effects on men with urinary symptoms. And the study showed that indeed men who took the combination of these drugs had a significantly better result than taking either one alone. And that's a significant finding. It's similar to a finding from several years ago when the drugs called doxazosin and finasteride also showed a significant improvement when combined together compared to either of those alone. So what are the uh, results from this? Well, patients who have urinary complaints, meaning they get up in the nighttime, they have a slow stream, they don't think they empty their bladder, they have some dribbling, they have difficulty starting and stopping the urine. Those urinary symptoms can significantly improve by taking these, both of these drugs. Now, who is a good candidate beside having those urinary symptoms? Well, another inclusion requirement was that men have a prostate measuring at least 30 grams. Because it turns out that if your prostate is smaller than that, you may not get a significant enough benefit from the drug aimed at shrinking the prostate, and that drug is dutasteride. So in general, the combination for men with significant symptoms seems to offer a benefit. And so if you go in and you are complaining of symptoms and the doctor thinks that you have a significantly large prostate and says there are medications available that can help you, be aware that for the right patient who has these entry requirements, the combination of the two drugs looks like it will give you a better result than taking either one alone. It doesn't matter which of them you take first, whether you would take the dutasteride by itself or the tamzulosin, it seems that you can get a better result from the combination together. Now there has been a criticism of the study in that there wasn't a group of men who also took a placebo as one of the arms, one of the groups that was tested. So you don't really know whether there is some improvement that could simply be a benefit from a placebo effect. Nevertheless, the fact that the two drugs together works better than either one alone is a significant finding and one that should be incorporated into your decision process. The side effects were pretty low. The main one were problems with the sexual function or with retrograde ejaculation, meaning that semen after an orgasm would go into the bladder rather than coming directly out. But the incidence of those were pretty low, 7% or less in the groups of men taking the combination. So well tolerated, small complication rate, significant benefit would seem to say to a man, if you have urinary complaints with a large prostate, this combination of medication is certainly something to try as an alternative to considering having surgery. Hopefully this information will be of use to you should you be faced with those urinary symptoms. Thank you.